If you are wandering through the bush in Zimbabwe in the autumnal period, just before winter sets in, late May, early June, and you see some beautiful russet pastel colors on a leaf, and it's a big, soft, velvety leaf, you know that you are looking at one of these, Combritum mole, the velvet-leaved Combritum, called in these parts Mupembere, or in Matabeleland, they call it Umbondo. How's it guys? I am Gus, the African plant hunter. I am here in Chisarira National Park, one of my favorite places in the country. And this is one of my favorite times of year, just before winter sets in and all the leaves are changing color and none more spectacularly so than these ones. The velvet leafed Combritum, whose big velvety leaves, completely different from any other Combritum, uh, are now starting to turn yellow and even this lovely, glorious kind of gentle, soft, ready color. So beautiful in the uh, camera lens as well. Uh, for photographers, this is definitely an absolute gem. This tree is a remarkable tree, not just for its visual appeal, which is significant, but also for its many, many medicinal uses. You can grow it, by the way, very easily from seed. So. Uh, don't be shy to try and grow it in your garden. Medicinally, all Combretums are significant, and this perhaps more so than any of the others. I would say that's primarily because of the leaf shape, this very large velvety soft leaves, and there are a lot of traditional medicinal uses associated with that. So the leaf is used as a topical treatment for any kind of wounds. It's also used as an aphrodisiac to treat infertility. If you are lucky enough to then get pregnant after being treated for infertility, it's used to stop bleeding during childbirth and ease the pain of childbirth. There are a lot of treatments associated with the gut, the intestine as well, uh, diarrhea. Uh, this is used in many parts of East and Southern Africa as a snake bite remedy. Um, that's a topical application of the leaves. One of my favorite uses of the leaves is, and of course these beautiful soft velvety leaves, you can completely understand why this would be the case. They're put into your shoe when you're on a long journey walking uh, just to help soften the, the pain on your feet of this uh, long walk. I've also heard people uh, putting the leaves into their hat on a hot sunny day to protect them from sunstroke. I'm not sure I fully understand how that would work, but uh, many people swear by it. I've also heard of people uh, making topical concoctions based on the leaf mixed in with a cream and rubbed into varicose veins to soothe varicose veins. This plant medicinally from a western allopathic point of view also has a lot of known medicinal properties very strong antibacterial antimicrobial properties so that would account for its use in wound healing uh, it's also one of a group of combritums that contain a compound called combritostatin that is being investigated for anti-cancer activity really really interesting plant so when you are out at this time of year and you see this, stop and have a look and feel those beautiful velvety leaves because they are completely unique. So lovely, rub them against the, your cheek if you're as eccentric as I obviously am. Uh, and for me, I just love to look at these colors because there are very few other trees that come with such a beautiful, can I use this word, pastiche of colors. All right, guys, that's my flying visit to Mupembere, the velvet-leafed Combritum. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, plenty more on YouTube, Facebook, and even sometimes Instagram. If you go and type in African Plant Hunter, you should find me there. If you find my videos sufficiently entertaining and informative that you would like to support me, you can do that by going to patreon.com forward slash African Plant Hunter and pledging a monthly contribution, little more than the, the price of a pint of beer a month or so, uh, to support support me and that really really helps me all right guys i'm off to check out some other trees in this lovely autumnal light i will catch you later take it easy bye